Wisconsin's largest abortion provider, Planned Parenthood, announcing it will resume abortions at clinics in Milwaukee and Madison tomorrow. The organization saying the result of a Dane County judge saying she didn't believe Wisconsin's 1849 law banned abortion, but instead applied to feticide. The lawsuit filed by Attorney General Josh Call is still active and is expected to make it to the state Supreme Court. With that, Attorney General Call joins us now from Madison. Mr. Attorney General, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's start with abortion. The lawsuit, this decision by Planned Parenthood. I'm curious from your perspective, is this a good legal decision on behalf of Planned Parenthood to be resume abortions while this lawsuit is still active? Well, what I can say is a few things. First, you know, over the last year and few months, Wisconsinites have been denied the freedom to make fundamental reproductive health care decisions because of the uncertainty that we've had regarding the, the state of what the law is in Wisconsin as to abortion procedures. What um, private groups do is, is their decision as to how to proceed. What we're going to keep doing is working to get clear guidance from the courts that uh, the 1849 law does not uh, broadly prohibit ab uh, abortions and hopefully get clarity and ensure that women are able to access the critical reproductive health care that they need. On this decision for Planned Parenthood to resume abortions uh, uh, tomorrow, did your office or did you advise the organization at all in this decision? We don't provide legal advice to private entities. Um, we, you know, we certainly have been in communication with a number of uh, folks as the, the litigation has been going on. And, uh, you know, but, but ultimately legal decisions that uh, that private entities make are, are their own decisions to make. And it's my hope that we will have resolution in the, the ongoing case before too long. I think there's a, a chance that the circuit court judge will issue a final ruling in the next few months. Uh, so hopefully we will get to a point where we have uh, certainty here as to where things stand and there won't be any doubt whatsoever. Let's talk about this lawsuit involving Megan Wolf. You filed seemingly minutes after the vote in the state Senate on Thursday. Do you anticipate this making it all the way up to the state Supreme Court? I think it's possible that it will. You know, I think that what the Senate did here is clearly inconsistent with Wisconsin law. And, you know, we, we I sent a letter over to legislative council explaining why that's the case. Legislative council itself uh, issued uh, a memo consistent with our view. We received a, a letter from Senator Lemahieu that didn't uh, argue that that there was in fact an appointment before the Senate, and even the Senate itself uh, passed a resolution saying that they were deeming Megan Wolf to be appointed. Uh, but you don't get to just make up that somebody was appointed and then take a vote on it. That's not how the law works. The judge appointed to this case, Judge Ann Peacock, recently appointed to the bench by the governor. Previously, she worked for the Justice Department for some 15 years. Does that pose any conflict moving forward? I'm confident that, that Judge Peacock, like any judge, will review the law and make a decision about uh, how she should proceed with the case based on, on the facts and the law. Uh, this is obviously a, a new issue that has arisen. Um, it's uh, only uh, a few months ago the Senate raised this possibility and they just took action recently. Uh, so I'm confident that, that whatever decisions are made uh, will be made based on the facts of the law. At this point, given the uncertainty, are you advising the Elections Commission or Megan to not issue any guidance to clerks in fear it could be challenged? Well, I'm not going to speak to any um, confidential uh, guidance we give to the Election Commission, but what I can say is a few things. First, this is not a close question under Wisconsin law. Um, again, not only did, did we argue in a letter to the Legislative Council that Megan Wolf uh, was not appointed, and so the Senate didn't have authority to act. Uh, but Legislative Council reached that same conclusion as well. And then when Senator Lemahieu sent us a letter, he, he didn't dispute that. So I don't think there's any serious dispute that Megan Wolf remains the administrator of the Election Commission. What, though, happens if the judge doesn't rule in your favor? Uh, again, I'm extremely confident that, that, that the judge will rule in our favor. But there's a chance it, that it is the important judge won't. That we get, it, it's critical that we get clarity on the law here because what we can't have is uncertainty about who the administrator is or how the law works in Wisconsin. Uh, obviously, Megan, Megan Wolf uh, and the Wisconsin Department of Justice will respect uh, court decisions. I, I know that uh, Administrator Wolf has said that, that she would accept any decision of the courts. Uh, but we need to have uh, clarity as to uh, who is in charge of elections in Wisconsin. And that's one of the reasons that getting this court decision, uh, I think, is an important important part of this. A busy week. Attorney General Josh Call, like always, we really appreciate your time and perspective. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Up next, new COVID recommendations from the CDC and the instant pushback. CDC Director Dr. Mandy Cohen is here.